Today we are exploring South Maui. We're in Kihei and we're heading for lunch at Coconut's Fish Cafe. We're here for fish tacos. We love fish tacos. Let's do it. We're about to dig in some fresh fish here in Kihei in South Maui. And this is a macadamia crusted mahi mahi. It's local fish. We have eaten a lot of macadamia nuts because there was chocolate covered macadamia nuts at our Airbnb when we got there. So I thought, well, let's keep the macadamia nut train rolling and put it on the mahi mahi, which is what we've done here. So let's dig in. Oh man, that looks like beautiful. A ton of big bed of brown rice. First bite here in Maui. Mm. That's very, very good. Fish is incredibly fresh. Nice crust on that fish. Typically, I like just one mahi, but I'm glad I got two. Okay, so we got fish tacos. It even says on the door that their fish tacos are famous. And that is what we came here for. It looks absolutely beautiful. There's slaw, there's pineapple, tomatoes. This is uh, this is gonna be a little bit messy. We're just gonna go for it, and then I'll probably eat the rest with a fork. That was really good. The pineapple on top is delicious, and then this slaw here has got a sweetness to it, and it really balances well with this south of the border sauce. I gotta find out what's in it. And obviously, the fish is delicious. It is fresh. We're in Hawaii. Look how beautiful this taco is. It's a huge taco, too. Mmm. The slaw is really good. Fresh fruit. It has so much fish. Usually I usually get hungry after I eat fish, but I guess because I don't eat enough fish. Those fish are gonna keep me full. Well, that was a delicious meal here at Coconuts and was a great start to the rest of our trip. Our first stop on our drive today was Leota's Kitchen and Pie Shop. Now, um, there was nowhere for us to sit inside, so we decided to take our pie to the beach. Okay. Eating pie at the beach. It's not a bad idea. Okay. We ordered a chocolate macadamia nut pie. Um, chocolate macadamia nuts has been our go-to snack pretty much since we got to the island. So we're continuing that tradition here in pie form. All right, I wanna get a little bit of everything in my first bite here. Ooh. This, this is like one of our first meals of the day. We had a very tiny breakfast, so. We're just starting the day off with some pie. That is rich and delicious. And probably not what we should be eating before we go to the beach, but we're in Hawaii, so we're just gonna live it up. Well, I can always tell Madeline really likes something and she had to take her glasses off. She liked this one so much. I'm getting a fully loaded bite here. Who wants to do this? Oh. That is rich. It's a really delicious chocolate pie. Really fresh whipped cream. Awesome crust. And you get the macadamia nuts in there as well. They're, they don't really have a lot of flavor. They're kind of just like a uh, very light tasting nut, 
that has a good crumble. Is that a good way to describe it? Yeah. Yeah, macadamia nuts don't have a harsh flavor. Yeah. But what it enhances, oh my god, there's caramel. There's caramel? I missed that. That's caramel. On the bottom? Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Wowie Maui. So, you know, the setting too. We're looking at another island. You got a sailboat going across the channel. Teal blue water. Eating pie. While we were planning this trip, we were talking about like, Oh, I don't think we'll eat too many sweet treats. We'll make sure we eat a lot of fruit and there's gonna be a lot of fruit stands. We'll stop, we'll get fruit, we'll get smoothies. And been a lot of chocolate. we've eaten so much chocolate since we've been here. I am not complaining. I just thought we'd be slightly healthier on this trip, but uh, so far, kidding? I mean, honestly, who were we kidding? Bye bye macadamia pie. We're about to have lunch in the Paia Fish Market right here on Front Street in Lahaina. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to this place is they have fresh catch fish. I'm trying to try as many different types of fish, fresh fish from the ocean here in Hawaii as I can. And they have a special day. It's Opaka Paka. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's basically a Hawaiian snapper. I absolutely love snapper. We got it sauteed and I'm looking forward to coming out. We also got Mahi Mahi fish tacos. So we're gonna be splitting everything because it's pretty much how we always do it. Opaka Paka sauteed in lemon, garlic, butter, a little bit of sauce here, some uh, Cajun rice. Mahi Mahi Tacos. Ooh. Fish, there's a little bit of cheese, lettuce, tomato, and then um, they're uh, corn tortillas, but the bottom one is crispy, so you kind of get a soft shell. And it's like a double decker taco. It's like a double decker taco. A little soft and hard shell taco at the same time. We're getting coconuts. First coconut in Hawaii. Actually, ever. Ooh, that is sweet. Not like overly sweet, but uh, it's refreshing. It's supposed to be very hydrating, coconut water. Well, I need it, so. It's going down easy. You want some? Sure. Ooh, it's, it's heavy. There's a lot of water in here. Mm. It is very sweet. It was very impressive watching him hack it apart. I've only seen that like on Survivor. That's a small coconut, by the way. Mm hmm. Yeah, this was a small coconut. There was a larger one. Tonight in Lahaina, we're gonna be trying a restaurant 
that was named one of the top 15 fine dining restaurants for the last four years. And that's the Lahaina Grill. And pretty excited, looked over the menu, they got land, they got sea. I'm in Hawaii, I think I'm going sea. Well, we're starting off tonight with a chili relleno that's stuffed with tiger prawns. And we're also starting with a Maui onion soup. Maui onions come from right here. Let's go straight into this chili relleno. Oh my goodness, that thing is fully stuffed. Oh. Yeah, I wish you guys could smell as good as it smells. <laughs> wow. Seafood's really subtle, but pick up the pepper flavor. Obviously, it's fried. And then you got this great uh, tomato sauce. That's awesome. There's really no fine dining way to eat chili relleno. But it tastes like fine dining. Okay, they're going in on the Maui French onion soup. French onion soup is so hot and it stays hot forever, so we've been letting it cool down. Let's see if it's ready. Oh, that's good. So the Maui onion is a sweeter onion, so it's like a traditional French onion soup, but it's just a little bit sweeter. I love onion soup. Yeah. My goal on this trip is to try as many fresh Hawaiian fish as possible. So I'm getting the special tonight, which is manchong. I've never had that before, quite frankly. I've never even heard of it. Madeline's getting wants some lamb, so she's having some braised short rib, and I think both are gonna be good. We've been seeing dishes go by, and they all look incredible. All right, so this is my manchong. It's on top of a wild mushroom risotto, and it's got a champagne verblanc on it. This is one of the most beautiful plates of food I've ever seen. So this is my first bite ever of manchong. Gonna get a little risotto. There's a richness there. It's another level. Like this is insane. Verblanc, the champagne Verblanc is uh, it's very decadent. Is the only way I can describe it. It's very uh, sweet and savory. Fish is really flaky. It's kind of like a sea bass. I'm very very happy with this. Okay, and this is my braised short rib on top of mashed potatoes. It is huge. I don't even know. Go down the middle. Oh yeah, it's just gonna fall apart. Oh man. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. I love short rib. That is delicious. It is just coming apart, melting in your mouth. The sauce is delicious. Let's get some potatoes too. This is this is like the kind of meal that sticks to your bones. Mmm, potatoes are really, really, really good. For dessert, we're getting purple berry pie. When we were in Maine, we fell in love with the blueberry pie out there. So this is gonna bring back little memories. Look at that, that's so beautiful. You look happy. 
This place is not lack for flavor. We just finished up at Lahaina Grill and we cannot say enough great things about our meal. The food was delicious, the service was top notch, everybody was so kind. We had a great evening. If you're here in Maui, you should definitely stop in to Lahaina Grill because I don't think we're gonna top this meal in Maui or in Hawaii for that matter because it was just absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna grab one of the quintessential dishes in Hawaiian cuisine and that's poke. Poke really exploded on the mainland. They basically doubled the amount of places that serve poke in the early 2010s and pretty much find it everywhere now but I'm here and I want to try the real thing and I want to try it on each island we visit. And so we're in Maui and we got a spot picked out here in South Maui uh, that we're going to go grab some poke at. Uh, hoping for some really fresh fish. They do different types of poke based on what's fresh catch and uh, I'm excited about it. Well, we just put our order at well, we just put our order at South Maui Fish Company. I got the poke bowl. It's got half spicy, half traditional, a little bit of slaw, and Madeline's getting the fish tacos. We're probably gonna be splitting everything, but uh, we're pretty excited. We're seeing them grilling up the fish right here, and I know they got the pokey already made, and uh, it looks really fresh. We got some live music here in this uh, plaza we're eating in. They really turned this uh, center courtyard of this shopping center into like a restaurant. And then the little bar over here, they got live music. We're gonna go in right into the tuna. Look at that. It's beautiful fish, very pink. Oh, so fresh. The little sauce they put on it. Sesame seeds, nice crunch. That's the real thing right there. Mm. Never had poke like that. We also got their daily special, which is a macaroni salad with smoked marlin. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I've eaten a lot of macaroni salad in Hawaii. I didn't know that was such a uh, delicacy here. Mm, mm, mm. That's really good. I'm learning a lot on my trip. This is delicious and the sauce that is drizzled on top is fantastic. Mm. Mm. I don't think I'm just gonna eat all of this. Adam can eat the poke. Well, this is mine. We just finished up at South Maui Fish Co. Adam loved the poke, the tuna tacos were great. I have to say, the fish was so fresh and I really am loving the macaroni salad out here. I'm just gonna be eating that for the rest of the trip. South Maui Fish Co. was awesome, highly recommend it. And now we're going to keep on rolling here in South Maui. We're here for parking lot pizza here at Outrigger Pizza in Kihei in South Maui. Everything on the menu looks absolutely incredible, but we decided to go with two local favorites. The first one is Maui onion, and the second is a lily koi pork. The crust is amazing. The pork is delicious. There's, uh, there's a lily koi sauce drizzled on top. I'm pretty happy we're on Maui eating pizza. This is the other pizza, which is a Maui onion. And uh, it looks delicious. We had a great time at Outrigger Pizza. We're gonna go keep exploring South Mountain.
Our next stop here in South Maui is the Maui Brewing Company. This place is huge and uh, it's got a great view of the mountains to the north. As you may or may not know, there's not a lot of room for fields of crops here in Hawaii and what they do have in terms of agriculture is very sustainable and usually for fruit. So they have to get all their barley from the mainland. They ship it over and they brew the beer here. And then sometimes they ship the beer back. So logistics in action. So we got two beers here. We got the Barefoot Brew. This is Waimea Red. Ooh, man. Now we're gonna keep on rolling and see what we find next. We just stopped off at Aunt Sandy's for banana bread. It says it's served fresh, always served fresh. And first of all, this loaf right here is hot and it just smells like banana bread in this area right now. So they're definitely cooking it as we speak. So we're gonna unwrap it and have a little bit here. And we're gonna eat it all week. And we're gonna eat on this bread all week. This is our this is our first snack here on the road to Hana. Ooh. I don't even want to cut it. Can I just rip into it? Do you mind? I'm going to rip into it like a monster. Oh. That was very good. Wow. It's warm. It's moist. I know everybody loves that word, moist. I love banana bread. All right, we got our snack. We're ready to keep going. All right, we are stopping for lunch here at Huli Huli Chicken. We're just south of Hana. This is a lunch we've been waiting to eat all day. It's Huli Huli Chicken, and they got a couple of makeshift kitchens. They got a guy grilling over here. They got all the food back there and coolers. And they got this awesome, uh, Huli chicken and this pork lo lao and the setting is unreal. We're looking out at the Pacific Ocean There's this beautiful rock over there. There's a beach people are surfing. I mean, this is this is what you come for I think and when it comes to food the food looks absolutely incredible. We just kind of ordered both and we're gonna dive into the chicken first Put a little sriracha on there That's perfectly, perfectly grilled chicken. Just so tender. Look at that. And then they got a little bit of macaroni salad and just a little salad greens. That's the best macaroni salad I've ever had. All right, digging into the pork here. Ooh, I can't get this rice. Wow, that is so good. It's got a great smoky flavor. And like Adam said, you cannot beat this view that we're looking at right now. We worked up a pretty good hunger today on our trek up here to Hana. So this is our, this is our prize. This is my first time trying poi. I'm not gonna eat it with my fingers. It's either one finger 
two finger or three fingers depending on the consistency and I think it's like a personal preference it all depends on how you like to make it but I'd say it's pretty thick so it's probably a one finger oh it's kind of sweet hmm. interesting it feels like it feels like I should be eating it on something or with something I know it's made from taro root. I guess I haven't really had, like, other than those, like, taro chips. It's not something I've ever had before. It's interesting. We are throwing in the towel. I hate to leave food on my plate, but the portions here are huge, and we're going to continue driving. So, fortunately, that's all we can do. So one of the top places I want to try when we were in Maui was Ten Roof Maui. Now their chef, Sheldon Simeon, has been on Top Chef twice. Unfortunately, he's runner up both times, but he grew up on the big island in Hilo where it rains a lot and Tin Roof is kind of a callback to the tin roof he had on his house growing up and that sound of rain hitting that tin roof. So his food is all about family and I really wanted to try this spot and I'm glad we grabbed it for lunch as we head out to the road for Hana. We stopped at a local beach because it's a takeout only spot. We got the Mokiko chicken and the chopped steak and they both look delicious. It's chicken thighs that are double fried, covered in a sauce. I got them over garlic noodles. That's one of the things that he's known for is garlic noodles. Look at that. Those garlic noodles. And a nice big piece of chicken breast here. One of the things the chef talks about, he's got a cookbook, which I'm gonna buy when I get back home. And it's how to cook real Hawaiian food. And he noted that, you know, Hawaiian food isn't necessarily just spam and ham and pineapple and pizza. Hawaii is a very ethnically diverse place. You have a lot of Filipinos, Japanese, you have native Hawaiians. And so there's some fusion of that food, but each culture brought their most favorite dishes. And they've kind of, you know, picked and chose their favorite dishes from all the different cultures. So you do see a lot of fusion on the menus, but you actually see some traditional items. One of the fun parts of coming here is trying all the different um, foods and learning about why they're here and what they're doing with them now and how the food is shaping their culture. I have the sliced flat iron steak over rice. Adam ordered it animal style. It's not exactly like in and out burger animal style, but it seems like maybe it's a little nod. Oh, all right. I feel like we just keep having amazing meals here in Maui. Every every place we've gone has been absolutely amazing. Mm. This is just another one to add to the list. So we're heading over back to Lahaina. We're gonna get some ice cream, some craft beer, and some dinner. This is our last night in Maui, and it's gonna be hard to leave. We have so much to look forward to. We're going on to the big island. We're going to Oahu, but Maui has set the bar high for our first stop in Hawaii. So tonight in Maui, I want to go a little more low-key. So we went to a fish market that also serves hot food. I got a Ono burger. It's 100% ground Ono, which is another fish that I haven't tried yet. I decided to try it in a burger form. Madeline got two tacos. She got a Baja fish taco and a Kahlua pork taco. They both look really good and we're going to kind of split everything. So we're looking forward to it. All right, I'm gonna dig right into the Ono burger. It's got lettuce on it. <laughs> it's got sauce on it. It's got some grilled onions on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's that. good. Looks kind of like a turkey burger. Mm, it's very mild. In fact, for most people, if you told them this wasn't fish, they probably wouldn't even know it. 
but I like it. I think this might not be my last song for her on my one. Taco. That was very good. There's a lot of pork on here. It's shredded. And, um, I thought we were going to eat a lot of pork here in Hawaii, but we really haven't. I'm really glad that I opted for this tonight. Mm. Oh, got me. Baja fish taco. Fried mahi, it was super crispy, pico, and then the sauce came on the side here. Really good. I'm not sure what it is, but the sauces have been on point since we've been in Hawaii, I have to say. We haven't had a fried fish taco yet, so mixing it up again. This is a great spot. Well, the fish market was absolutely delicious. Love the tacos. The Ono burger was a huge hit. It's gonna be tough to top. Well, you know that we absolutely love visiting local independently owned craft breweries. It's the Red Sand Amber, which I'm guessing is a nod to Haleakala National Park. Up in that crater, you got a lot of red sand. We'll see how it is. Oh. So, this baby beach blonde ale. It goes down really, really easy. And it's very refreshing. I haven't picked up surfing yet, but I can envision a long day of being out on the water. Which, we were out on the water today. We were snorkeling. Not quite as cool as surfing, but you know, we saw some turtles, so that was fun. But this goes down easy. Wish they'd bottle that up and send it back to the mainland. We are at Ululani's and we are getting shaved ice. We got coconut, guava, and passion fruit. And it also has macadamia nut ice cream on the bottom. First shaved ice in Hawaii. I'm gonna get all the flavors and go right in. Mm. When you get a Thai or Hawaiian ice at home, it's like chunky. And it's got a very syrupy topping to it. Which was different. We got one more stop we want to make. I think we're gonna go find a sweet treat. Uh, we're at the Sugar Beach Bake Shop. Sugar Beach Bake Shop is actually owned by the owner of Uluwani's Shave Ice, which we had the other day. It was terrific, so we said, all right, we'll go check out your bake shop as well. And I'm glad we did, because since if you've been watching any of our videos, you may have noticed we've had a love affair with macadamia nuts since we got to island. We've gotten macadamia nuts covered in milk chocolate. We've gotten macadamia nuts crusted uh, macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi, and we've had macadamia nut ice cream. We're gonna finish a little macadamia nut brownie, covered with white chocolate, and uh, it's hot. It's getting melty. This is a good sweet treat to end with. Well, it's not the last one, but Madeline and kind of got a fun one too. So I got a lily koi key lime pie. And lily koi is a fruit that I just discovered today because some of it was on my pizza earlier, but it's similar to a passion fruit. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And I love key lime pie. Oh, it's great. It looks really good. Mm. It's good. It's got the tart of the key lime mixed with the sweetness of the lily koi. And it has a ooh, very, very crumbly graham cracker crust here. I haven't had key lime pie in a while. Um, we're a long way from Key West. We're a long way from Key West, yes. But it does fit the setting pretty well.
but I cannot believe how much pie and like candy and baked goods we've had since we've got since we've gotten to Hawaii. I really thought we would just be eating like fruit and really lean food while we're here, but um, these uh, these bake shops have been bringing it. If you want to see more from our adventures to Maui, click right here and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.